Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Magic Mermaid and Happy New Year to all my Taurus people, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising people. We're going to get into your January 2024 Tarot Scope reading. I really hope that you guys enjoy this. We're going to really get some clear messages to see what you guys have going on this month. We're already shuffled, of course. And excuse any child screaming you hear in the background because we have a full house okay ten of swords this is actually a really nice card i like this card ten of swords we have the ten of cups for taurus we have the knight of wands okay we have the three of pentacles we have the king of pentacles and then lastly, we have the strength card. So let me shuffle once more and then we'll get the clarifiers. All right. Uh-oh, I think my nephew is about to bust in the door. I pray not. He is a Taurus also. So maybe there's a synchronicity there. He's like, what, Taurus who? I heard my name. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups clarifying the Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an end that you are kind of happy about. You're very happy about it, that something is ending. Nine of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Cups. And then Will of Fortune clarifying the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Wands clarifying the Three of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords clarifying the King of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups clarifying the Strength card. Let's get your final six, which is going to be Psychic Protection, Taurus. We have Harvest. Very good. We have Harmony. Lots of Harmony, Taurus, for you this month. We love to see that. We have Joy and prosperity and lastly we have strength all right very good so first off i'm going to immediately start with the ten of swords as well as the nine of cups which is like i said something's coming to an ending this month in january and i have a feeling that it has a lot to do with old patterns old belief systems this could even be old relationships that you you know maybe not so much they're coming to an end but they're transforming into another stage so for a lot of you this could be going from just friends to relationship for a lot of you this could be going from relationship to just coexisting or co something like it could be anything but this could also be like a lot of things that you want to shed within you you are shedding them coming into the month of january and you feel very good very satisfactory about this it's very positive for you these are things that you know that it's needed for you to let these things go and you are not fighting about it you're like look go ahead get it out of here so we have the ten of cups clarified by the nine of swords so you have a new situation, okay? So Nine of Swords is definitely, let me show you one more time, actually. Nine of Swords, okay? It's a. It's definitely a card about being up in your head. So in this card, she kind of looks like, she's like in La La Land. It's like, girl, snap back to reality. Snap back to reality? Yeah, because that is pretty much the message of Nine of Swords. It's like you're so in your head. Like you have to snap back to reality at some point because sometimes the thoughts are negative or sometimes you're just so like dreaming about what could be, what should be, what, you know, won't be or whatever. So, but the Ten of Cups is here to bring you um, peace and joy and family and just domestic bliss. So you could be having a really, really harmonious um, interaction in, on the home front so things could be going really well in your home everything could be working functioning efficiently properly and everyone's just happy there's positive energy you guys are bonding you guys are connecting and everything just feels great so whatever was tormenting your home life before has now come to an end whatever it is Taurus you have released it you're like, it's no longer whatever was like holding me back or like driving me crazy. It's no longer. I'm done with it. 
you know, I've released it and on to better things, and which is my own peace, prosperity, and positivity and harmony, okay? So we have the Knight of Wands, which is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about changes. And depending on the cards that surround it, it could be positive or negative. Knight of Wands, I feel like it's definitely a positive card. Um, it's about forward movement. It's about action. Sometimes it can be about travel. So there are some things that are changing. You're having big shifts. You're having major luck i feel like there could be some unexpected small little blessings that come in for you this month in january you know that you know maybe really you need it or even they just give you a leg up or you just weren't expecting it and you're like wow this is amazing i wasn't expecting that i did really need that but some of your circumstances are shifting and changing for the better and you are ready to just zoom forward and be like yeah i'm doing this like this is how i'm moving this is how i'm going through this is how i'm gonna move through the room and that's what you're doing okay we have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Wands, okay? So, ooh. So, for some of you, okay, there is a relationship that may be moving up to the next level. This is you making things exclusive, you making things official. This is you maybe, you know, making a commitment to each other, some kind of commitment or you know maybe giving something a title or like yeah we're gonna move in together like right that's what we're gonna do right something like that for others of you this is going to be promotion in your work life okay the three of pentacles definitely represents moving to the next level of your business or your work so maybe you are leveling up in your business and in your work and um you could be getting a pay increase for a lot of you. You could be getting a raise this month in January. Or you could just see that your efforts at work are really being recognized and put a spotlight on, which is great also. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Swords. And so, yeah, I definitely, it's definitely giving um, promotion. It's definitely giving more money. It's giving unexpected money. You guys could have some money coming from somewhere. Okay, I don't know where for a lot of you women, this could be a man that is coming in and like wants to help you with bills and I don't know, just wants to help you give you some money or whatever, you know, um, but also I feel like this is also you, Taurus, like taking off of a mask because of that seven of swords card. It's about kind of like hiding, being sneaky, you know, sneaking around, trying to do things. I feel like. Whatever you were trying to hide about yourself before, Taurus, you're like, I'm not hiding this no more. Like, if y'all don't like it, y'all don't like it. But this is who I am and this is how I'm coming. And if you don't like it, then move around. And so it's kind of giving that energy. It's like you taking your power back. Like, what ways have you dimmed yourself down to compromise or please someone else or to fit in? Where, where did you feel like I'm not being my full self because I'm trying to make someone else feel comfortable which is making me feel uncomfortable, which is basically me putting someone else before my needs. And so you're like, mm -mm -mm, not no more, mm -mm -mm, not no more. <laughs> that was just ugly. I don't know what it was, but. And then we have the strength card, which is clarified by the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about your dreams. It's about options. It's about, um, well, ending with the strength card, I would say a lot of you might be getting into your fitness regimens toward the end of the month. You could be starting your new gym membership or starting a new health regimen or workout routine um, that you've wanted to do for a very long time. But I feel like you are implementing a lot of things into your life that bring you vitality and good health. You know, so this could be meditation, this could be yoga, this could just be eating well, eating plant-based, this could be, you know, cutting out alcohol, cutting out smoking or devices or anything, shopping less, really saving your money, things that make you a healthy being. You're going to really be focused on at the end of the month. So, great month. You have psychic protection and harvest, so you're protected you know, through this month, you've been covered, you have harvest, which means that all the hard work that you've been putting in is coming forth for you now. You have strength, prosperity, joy, and harmony. All the things that you've been dreaming of, Taurus. So, great job. Keep moving.